All right, I found a piece of spalted maple. It's about uh, two inches thick by three and a half inches square. You don't need anything that big, but then again, this is just something I had laying around, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to take my uh, 5 8 bowl gouge and knock the corners of it off, and then we'll work from there. That stab center spinning again, which just shows I was taking too big a bite. Move the tool rest in a little closer. Always shut your lathe off before you do this. Take it down, put a tenon on it so I can put it in the chuck. This is just a little flat note scraper. Then I'm going to take my skew that I have on the same angle as my jaws on my chuck and cut a little dovetail on them. Take it, turn it around, and put it on the put it in the chuck. There's that little stab center. As you can see, it's got little teeth on it, and uh, that's why it slips when you have too big a bite. Now we'll clean this end up and turn it down to the diameter we want it. Okay, a couple more quick cuts on that. Get it cleaned up. Looks pretty good. Let's sand it and uh, put some texturing on it and then prepare it for the stem.
Got some 220 here. Looks good. Okay. Let's give it a little texture. With the texturing tool you've seen in the other videos. Touch it with the sandpaper. Slow it down. How about blue? I don't know. Let's do a pink outline. Can't see it right now. Wait until it uh, <coughs> gets done. All right, I'm gonna put some uh, finish on it. Probably smear the oh, not too bad.
it set up for the final uh, turning of the top body. Oh, this is a little jam chuck, a scrap piece of wood that I had. And I'm going to put a little nub on it so that the top fits on it, then we'll jam it on. That's why they're called jam chucks, because you jam them on. Pretty good. Okay, let's clean that end up a little bit and then put the center against it. Now these chucks hold, but sometimes not very good, so you gotta be careful what you're doing. You can see what the problem is right there. Jam it on too tight, I mean, make it too big, then when you go to put the stem in it, it will fit. So, you got to kind of compromise a little bit. So, now we got it, we got the tailstock against it, let's turn it down. spin, not turn. Now what we're going to do is since these get spun on the concrete floors and sidewalks and every place else, Maple is pretty soft, so what we're gonna do oops that's not good. 
All right, I'll be back. I gotta glue that back together. I'm not throwing it away. Okay, glued it back together, fixed it. Uh, that happens sometimes if you make the jam chuck too big, it'll end up splitting it. Anyway, what we're gonna do here is, well, not that one, we're not. We're gonna glue a steel BB into here because we run them on on concrete, on the sidewalks, on the floor and uh, it would really beat up just a plain wooden point so put a BB in there Stand standard BB like out of a BB gun go to the sporting goods store and get them they're 177 caliber uh, which is 177 thousands. Uh, I think that's a little over 3 sixteenths, not sure. Uh, anyway, put that in there and it'll last for a very, very long time. And now that it's dry, we'll take it, straighten this up one more time and then sand it. takes care of that part. Now well, we got to glue the stem in, so I'll put a different uh, center in. Take and put some thick CA glue in here. Put the stem in. Put that in there. and we'll let it sit and dry. Okay, now for a test drive, here we go.
Seems to run okay. Okay, that concludes making a top that's powered by a string.